So today, I'm gonna talk about um rejection lines that you women, you girls, can use on the men, the guys, the boys, whatever you wanna call them. Um, and not only what you say, but what they really mean. Okay. So, for example, like, if some, um, ugly guy comes up to you and says, like, yo, baby, you wanna go out? Or, yo, baby, wanna fuck? Or, something like that. You can just say, I'm not attracted to you in that way. Which really means, you are the ugliest dog I have ever laid eyes on. See? It's as simple as that. And I'm pretty sure most of them have probably gotten that line before, but... It's a fact that we all have been told that, and we have given that excuse. I'm pretty sure. Um, or, let's say, um, some guy comes up to you, and then he's that straight guy that everyone thinks is gay or has a possibility of being gay. You could just say, I'm sorry, I'm a lesbian. And then that could mean you're really too much of a girl for me to ever want to date. It's as simple as that. Like, or you could just be honest and tell them what you really mean. But that's not as fun. And then, say your best friend wants to go out with you, but you don't want to go out with him. Then, there's a obvious thing to say I think of you as a brother which means I really don't want to ruin our friendship or it could mean I personally would never date you in my life even though if you are my best friend ever yeah think about it and then say you're about 16 and then this 15 year old guy comes up to you and it's like, Yo baby, wanna bang? Or it's like, Hey, wanna go out? Or hey, I'd really like to get to know you. And then you could say, There's a slight difference in our ages. Which means, I do not wanna fuck somebody that is the same age as my father. Or you could like also use it if like you are 16 and then some 12 year old dude asks you out. And then you could just say they're slight different in our ages. Which could mean I don't want to be a child molester. But thanks for your offer. Call me in 10 years. Right? And then everyone has used this excuse right here. My life is too complicated right now, which means I don't want you spending the whole night over my house or else you may hear my phone ringing from the other guys I've been seeing. And then the excuse, I've got a boyfriend, can be interpreted two different ways. One, you really have a boyfriend and you may or may not be happy with him. or. I don't really have a boyfriend, I just want you to think I'm happy with someone else. Yeah. But of course, if they really had a boyfriend, I'm pretty sure everybody would be talking about it and blah blah blah. And then, I don't want to date men that are in the same job as me. This one, this excuse is for more working people. Then it's like, I wouldn't date you if you were in the same solar system, much less the same building. And then, how many times have you heard this one? On TV, or it's been used on you, or if you've used it on someone, it's not you, it's me. That one obviously means that it is you, and I don't want to be seen with you, whether if you were the last person on Earth, or... You just need to stop being a geek or nerd or whatever that dude is that you're saying that to. 
and then if you say I'm concentrating on my career or I'm concentrating on my schoolwork then that one means even something as boring and unfulfilling as my job or school is better than dating you which is mostly true with like a lot of people depending on your standards, your types, rather if you have types or you don't have standards, yes. Then, which, flowing into what I just said, um, let's say this, um, do guy with the greasy hair, the plaid shirt, wearing jeans that right up his ass, above his shirt, like with his shirt tucked in, and then, like, with really nerdy glasses, with braces, talk shack mesh, yes, the square root of 86 is 95, which is obviously not, I just made that up because I don't know, and then, and then, that really means if you say you're not my type, that really means you're really ugly and I would really appreciate it if you go away because I really want to punch you in the face right now. And then, the casual, let's be friends. That means I want you to stay around so I can tell you in excruciating detail about all the other men I met that aren't you because they are way better than some loser like you. Yes. So that was about 10 or 11 different rejection lines that you could use on a guy. For girls at least, like girls on guys. And then also what they really mean. So next time some loser boy asks you out. Or next time that someone that's not your type asks you out. Just come back to this video in your mind. Come think of me. And then just use one of my excuses. And then some of them may really know what you mean and some of them may not. But this is just a little informational video, you know, to help you. Because that's how I like to do, help people. And so if you ever decide to use one of my lines, I really hope they work out for you. Okay. Bye.